Hello everybody. Today is Thursday, November the 13th, 2014. My name is Michael Wright and this is the Daily LEOA video. Just before going forward, please do pause the recording and read over our risk disclaimer. Okay, um, let's jump right into the markets. Um, as of late, we recently closed out a uh, nice, uh, profitable uh, pound Aussie short. Okay, we'll take a look at um, that trade. We'll take a look at the before and after. Let me go ahead and actually pull it up now. Okay, uh, we closed it out for a little bit over uh, 300 pips. So that worked out very well. Um, and uh, taking a look at the set up now okay um, all right so that's coming up so this is a setup um when we had uh first taken the um trade all right it was a nice uh, um test of resistance at the trend line um at the trend line that was intact um since february okay that trend line was intact since february and a simple price action move um played out very well and prices did reject and we were aiming for the uh 78 area okay um now what we have is uh, prices are uh, falling under some intense uh, pressure. All right, so we can take a look at where prices are, are right now, and then we close it out a little bit ahead of time. Um, the reason being is because I just wanted to book profits. Okay, um, there's never a time in which uh, booking profits is uh, bad. So we we booked profits for 314 uh, pips, and that was actually a um, actually the target. That was actually the target itself. One one eighty three zero. So 314 pips. Okay. Um, now looking at the pound Aussie on the daily setup. All right. So we. Close it out at 183. As you can see, it fell another 300 pips. Um, still looking lower, 177.50 ideal, um, and we'll look for actually we'll look for longs at that at that level for a possible another potential high. So going to currently watch the pound Aussie, see how it develops. But one um, trade in particular that we are keeping a close eye on, that we may wait until the top of next week to play, is the euro dollar. Euro dollar has bounced off of the uh, two sixty one point eight percent Fibonacci extension, and then on a minor level from a four hour time frame perspective, okay, um, it has also broken above um, price action uh, resistance. All right, so two very important levels mixed with uh, momentum divergence on the RSI. Okay, so they're calling for our, our reversal point with the next notable resistance level at 128. So shy of 400 pips higher. Looking for an ideal A, B, C move. So if we do not catch it on this first wave, look for a bounce back um, into the 50%, um, even to the 100%. Uh, Fibonacci retracement and then look for that move higher so that's ideal for the uh, short-term trades that we are currently looking at and meanwhile you'll look for its counterpart the pound dollar to ideally do the same thing a pound dollar has been a one-way uh, move thus far um, not one in particular that I like to I'm not gonna look to bottom catch this one but it is worth noting that as of right now it is on a daily time frame